In this video, I'm going to show you three SEO tricks to help grow your traffic. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is install the All-in-One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on Plugins, and then click on the button that says Add New. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the Account section into your Download area and click the big green button that says Download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the Plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the Upload Plugin button and then click Choose File and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the License Key field. Click Connect. And that's it. All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. Now that you've got All-in-One SEO installed, I want to show you one of the easiest tricks to increase your SEO, and that is to add additional keywords. You don't even have to think of additional keywords. You can just use our awesome plugin to do the heavy lifting for you. So. Let's head on over to the post section. And I'm going to scroll on down to a post that has a good amount of content in it. Uh, I think we'll use this one, how to set the SEO title and description format. And we can see this post has a lot of content in it. So if I scroll down past that content to the all-in-one SEO settings section, if I scroll down to the bottom of that, we can see the focus key phrase for this page is called SEO title. And we can see I'm doing well with this page, a lot of green check marks. But if you look below that, there's a little button here that says get additional key phrases. And this all works because of all in one SEO's seamless integration with SEM Rush. You can create a free account on SEM Rush that you can use here. So once you have that account, go ahead and log in. It will ask you to approve the request to log in and share information. Say yes, approve. And then this page pops up with additional key phrase suggestions provided by SEM Rush. So you don't have to sit there racking your brain trying to think of additional key phrases. You can just review the list that's provided here and choose any that are applicable to your content. So the goal here is not to add all of the key phrases and make your page try to qualify for everything. That's not going to work. The goal is to select relevant key phrases. This post is about how to set the SEO title and description for your content. So our focus key phrase is SEO title. The number one suggestion below that is SEO page title. That's very relevant. So I'm going to go ahead and add that key phrase. I'm also going to add SEO title tag. This piece of content is in specifically about title length. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to add SEO titles. And I'm going to say three is enough plus the initial key phrase. I've got four. That's good. I'm not going to get greedy. And then I'm just going to simply close out of this modal. So now we have these additional key phrases attached to this piece of content, which of course means I'm going to have to optimize this page for these key phrases as well. So it's not as simple as optimizing for one key phrase like it was here with SEO title, but at times it makes sense to have additional key phrases to target, and this is how you do that. When you're all done doing that, make sure to click the blue Update button to update your page. 
The second trick I'm going to show you is simply to write better and more descriptive meta descriptions. And the reason we want to focus on that is because today Google mainly focuses on the user experience. So a good, well-crafted description that tells your users what your page is all about can increase your rankings in Google. So back on our same post here, if I scroll back up a little bit, we're going to get to the meta description section. Now on this page, what I have for the meta description is the post excerpt. And it's telling me it's almost 3,000 characters out of 160, so way too long. I don't know why that could be, so I'm going to go check on the post section on the right here. And if I scroll down a little bit, I can see that I never wrote a post excerpt. So this is actually a very common scenario. You set up all-in-one SEO to use the post excerpt for your meta description, fully intending to write a post excerpt, but then you just never get around to it. What we're going to see in the search engines for our listing is this whole giant block of text here, this whole paragraph. So what I'm going to do instead is write a proper excerpt to be used here as the meta description. So since this page is about how to set the SEO title and description format, I'm going to say I'm going to say set your SEO title and description this way to increase your rankings in search results. So that's much more descriptive. Plus, we're creating a little mystery here this way. What way? I got to know. I got to click and find out. I think I'll add to dramatically increase your rankings in search results. So that's much better than the little excerpt that we had before. So you can write the excerpt here. You could also, if you wanted to, write it in directly in here, or you could use any of the smart tags we have available to construct your meta description. When you're done with this, go ahead and click the blue update button and your changes have been saved. Now you have a much better written meta description that will entice people to click on your link when they see it in the search results. The third trick you can use to increase your traffic is to create an XML sitemap, which Google will use to help find your new content. XML sitemaps are generally created for search engines. They're not for people to read, but they really help the search engines find your content quickly. So we're gonna head back on over to the WordPress dashboard. Well, we're in the post section here, but that's close enough. I'm going to go to the all-in-one SEO menu on the left and click on the link that says sitemaps. If you're using all-in-one SEO, this is probably the easiest of the three tips to implement. So basically on the general sitemap tab here, underneath general sitemap where it says enable sitemap, all you need to do is just ensure that that toggle switch is in the on position. If it was not in the on position, toggle it on, then click the blue button that says save changes. And now your site will automatically generate an XML sitemap that will automatically be updated every time you create new content or update content. And this can help your new content get surfaced earlier in Google and can help increase your traffic. So those are three SEO tricks to help grow your traffic. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to run an SEO analysis of your competitor's website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, all-in-one SEO.